Hello world, I'm Derek. Welcome to my channel. This short video is on kayaking the Ross River Part 2. It's on a new kayak I got about six months ago. Um, it's a Key Largo 4.1 meter kayak, sit on top kayak, and, um, and it's just a short video on it. Um, same as the old first one, but it's on a different kayak and with a better um, camera. And cheers. The key largo four point one meter kayak. Nice high sides on it. Plenty of room at the front for storage. Plenty of um, plugs in the bottom for drainage. Down there, those plugs are removable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plugs, there's more storage down the back. There's also a storage pocket in here where I keep my mobile phone. And also a holder there to put camera gear. Storage under here, rod holders, four rod holders, and my wheels are in the back there. I carry. Gotta have a good seat. Whenever you have a kayak, gotta have a good seat. It's the most important thing. This is the first weir. Salt is just down there. That's a footbridge. And that's the first weir, Applin's weir. The start of the fresh water. No crocodiles, only freshwater ones that I've never seen. They must be pretty shy. And yeah. Absolutely magic. The Ross River. These are the giant pink water lilies. Nice and calm today <clears throat> for a change. But the wind will pick up. Always does. It's been blowing for months. Okay, on my right hand side, which is over here, that is the suburb of Aikenvale. And on my left, that is the suburb of Annandale. With 
Mount Stewart in the background over here. It's popular for bike riders, walkers, and people walking dogs. And the river is especially popular for kayakers, rowers as a rowing club. And at the moment it's full, which it's had a good year this year. It's had a nice bit of rain. It's full of bird life over there. Ducks, cormorants, storks, pelicans, just to name a few. This kayak is a Key Largo kayak made by RTM. Um, it's got a paddle here and um, it's 4.1 meters long. It has um, a rudder but I took it off because I couldn't get on top of the car with the rudder on it. Um, paddle's nice and straight and um, I'm really happy with it over the uh, other one I had a 2.7. I'll do a review on that one as well but uh, they're called sit on top kayaks, uh, SOTs. Um, 30 kilos it is, and um, but it's fairly easy to get on once you know how to get it loaded onto hood wrecks. So the river is beautiful, this magic place. There's a, a stand up paddle border down there coming my way. That's the bridge in the background. Starting to blow now, the wind, so. Probably get wind noise. River winds its way through Townsville in North Queensland, Australia. And the part I'm paddling on at the moment is right in the middle of the suburbs. Um, that street bridge there called Nathan Street Bridge. Over here is a Palmatum. And there's an old age home right on the banks of the river over there. It's nicely mowed, beautiful parks and gardens all around. Barbecue facilities. But the main focus is the river. And that's what I love about Townsville is the river. It goes for many, many kilometres right up through three weirs and then a dam and it's fully stocked with barramundi you need a license to fish but it is stocked most of it's cash, catch and release but you get them well over a meter barramundi on light gear it's very very a lot of fun the key largo i have is a fishing kayak it's a sea kayak so it's designed to go in the sea and the waves very well built plenty of room to store gear um, we don't have winters up here so we don't need the sit in tops sit inside ones we have you can see the bird life okay that's the old age home up there and the bridge i'm coming up to four kayakers now just past that stand up, stand up paddle border. Yeah, there they are. Well, I hope you liked the short video. Um, yeah, just about the kayak and the kayaking up the Ross River again. Um, so cheers, I hope you like it and thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Cheers.